guys, this is Redberry, and today I'm doing a pretty disgusting job. I noticed I have this uh, electric can opener, and I use it pretty much daily. And I decided to start cleaning it, and look at this gunk. Now, if most of you have one of these, you see it's usually in this position. Let's see if I can get it on there. Yeah, it's in this position. So, I just use it every day. I pop a can on, give it a, you know, and I put it up. And it stays up in my cabinet. Well, today I decided to look into it. And it's really nasty. Let's see if I can get it off now. Let's, let me hold my camera. And I've decided I am going to put it, soak it, in vinegar. This is my plain white big jug of vinegar. This is my bowl with my vinegar. And there it goes. And I'll leave it there for a good while. Uh, and I'll check on it and see how it comes out. And I'll let y'all know. Okay, guys. And I'm going to get busy with this one with a, with a vinegar uh, on a rag. And get it all this cleaned This is up. just after about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. And look at this. It is releasing it. And um, I'll let it soak for another 20, 30 minutes. And then I'll get a toothbrush. This is definitely grunt work. But uh, it's, it's not taking me any time to get this thing cleaned up. So if you want to clean your electric can opener, bowl of vinegar, remove the part. This part comes off. Soak that. And then I cleaned all this up with a paper towel. Okay, guys. It, this is after about 30 40 minutes and uh, I hope you can see it on camera it is spotless I took uh, one of the boys old toothbrushes I leave that uh, by my sink to do some scrubbing like this and uh, I just kind of scrubbed around real good got all the parts and the crevices and uh, wow it's it's looking fantastic okay Give it a good rinse in water and, you know, dry it as best you can. Uh, I'm going to leave mine out like this, drying. And um, here's the other part. It's all cleaned up. I got in there using a dull knife. These are these cheap knives you can get four for a dollar, like a Dollar Tree, Walmart. I use them as tools to do this. Okay, you take it and you put the paper towel. Let me show you. A piece of paper towel. Let me see if I can get the camera angle good. Okay. You kind of wrap it in a piece of paper towel. And then you go to town. Okay. And then you want to move your knife with your paper towel. Every once in a while. Okay, to get all this done. And the top has this nice little line for junk to settle in. Trash. So you take that, and I take the knife, and the knife will fit perfectly in there, and slide it across to get it clean. Okay, guys, this is how to clean an electric can opener. You need vinegar, a bowl of vinegar, an old toothbrush. This is one for my boys, and a paper towel. Soak it in vinegar for about 30, 40 minutes, or depending how much it needs. You know, it may need a little more. I'm looking at the magnet. I could say the magnet might need a little more. So, it's going back in there and I'll scrub it up with the toothbrush. Okay, guys, I hope this helps somebody. Uh, because these are one of the everyday, obvious things that we don't notice. If you, Sometimes you have things that you use every day and um, you just don't notice it. You, you know, you're quick and cans are very, very dirty. Very dirty. So, I always wash my cans with a good scrubbing soap and water, rinse it, then use my can opener. But I guess it's the, uh, maybe it's the glue or the, the juice. I don't know what it is, but it gunks up. So, this is how to clean it, guys. Hope this helps somebody. This is Redberry, and I'll talk to y'all soon.